Well, we are back. We are back in Outlaw Run Recreation. And I know it's been a while. In fact, it's probably been a year since we've been to this spot. And you've all seen this before. You've seen this exact footage. Well, not the exact footage, but footage that's very, very similar. And that's because we've made this already and we've started on the outlaw and recreation so why am i why why am i redoing this well first of all i wanted to make this recreation like literally the most perfect you can get it in planet coaster and there were just some things about the recreation that didn't really work out first of all the first thing i did was i used a log flume to get all the turns and stuff to where I wanted it and that just didn't work out the best so what I did was I used a floor plan method which you can see right here on the screen there's a big giant floor plan of just giant screens and what that is is an actual one-to-one -one recreation level picture of outlaw run and now I can just trace the track to where exactly the turns are. I can put the supports exactly where everything is, all the buildings, all the queues, and I can just get it, everything exactly to where I want it. Also, quick note, last time I did my Outlaw Recreation, I had no like video editing experience at all. I was using an online video editor, which, you know, those suck. And I was just, I was using the slowest, most horrible laptop ever. And I just remember thinking this, this content is so, so bad. However, about a year later, I've got a PC that runs Planet Coaster really well, a really solid, solid video editor, DaVinci Resolve. It is super powerful and it's able to do anything that it basically wanted it to do. And yeah, a floor plan method kind of helps. <laughs> so we are now restarting, as it were, the Outlaw Run recreation. Not from scratch, because there's stuff that I can copy over at some points. Like, I'm using a bunch of the stats from the old version I built. So, I mean, it kind of helps just be able to get those angles and everything right. But at the same time, it was also kind of wrong. And I just wanted to make sure that this is the best recreation ever and yeah so I know I haven't been talking much about what I'm doing because I want to catch y'all up on where I've been on the last you know year <laughs> on this recreation I did post the video like update on my channel but it wasn't anything like building or anything so here y'all go a year later we are finally back on to this project. And I, wa I want to get this thing done. I, I really do. I want to get it to a stopping point. I want to get it to a spot where we can, you know, I can feel good about the recreation before I start to work on something else. One of the changes that I want to make regarding this recreation is just to take my time on the elements and I feel like that's something I did wrong on a couple of the past versions I kind of just flew past them and said hey I'll get to them later no that's not a really good way of thinking about things because if you just push everything aside it's never gonna get done and I don't care who you are but it, if you push things aside and procrastinate they're they might get done but they're gonna get done in a manner to where you know it's not gonna be good at all so in this recreation, I'm going to try to do things as the layout goes. I'm not going to try to skip any element saying, oh, I'll come back, to, come back to that later. No, I'm going to do everything along the layout. So if we, if the 153 causes trouble, guess what? I'm not moving on to the next element. I'm staying with it. I'm sticking with it. But <laughs> in post, of course, I know what's happening in the future. And the 153 didn't really cause me any grief because I've done it like five times. This is, granted, this is like the fifth time I've done this recreation. And so I'm just getting better at it every time. And of course, if you look right now at the screen, you can see the difference between the two lift hills um, and the drops. 
Another thing that I want to change, obviously, is the floor plan method. I'm using that this time. And it's helped out so much in so many ways. First of all, I can get the exact angle of every single track piece. And it's it's helped, like, things that I've never thought would be, like, I never thought I would struggle with, but it's helped that. And it has, like, it's been such a blessing because I have been able to just get everything to the perfect spot where I want it. And finally, the last thing is I'm going to start building out of two meter pieces now and I'm fairly confident with this this is kind of how the building style I like to build with now I used to do build with four meter pieces and then switch it to two meter and then switch it to one meter but that just took too long and I couldn't get the exact angle that I wanted with the four meter pieces and I've just gotten really really good at building with the two meter style and I think I'm not even going to convert it to one meter because I can make two meter coasters as smooth as my one meter coasters and they have better shaping too. So I think I'm just going to keep it two meter and just use my smoothing process, which doesn't smooth the profiling a lot, but it does smooth it to where it's a smooth ride. And yeah, I, I'm excited to see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out good with the two meter smoothing, of course I'll one meter it. I just don't like the way it looks. One meter, there's too many supports and yeah, it it looks like a hot mess when there's it's one meter especially in RMC. I don't mind if it's like a BNM and you one meter. Actually, I, I really think those look really good one metered or like an Intamin. Those actually look really good when you're one metering them, but to RMCs, not really, not in Planet Coaster. So yeah, those are just a couple things that I've changed that are gonna affect the progress of this ride significantly. I'm just really excited to see where it go so in this video i get to the end of the 153 degree outside bank turn that's a mouthful to say and yeah it's we get it to like almost the perfect shape and i know it's moving kind of slow right now that's because you know i'm just kind of chugging along i'm taking my time doing all the elements to where i exactly where i want it and yeah, I, I am loving like just the POV there. Of course, it's sped up, but when I was watching it in real time, I was like, yeah, that's 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 really good. <laughs> that that is outlaw run right there. And yeah, the first version that I did that I recorded and put on my YouTube channel with the watermark. Remember that? That was horrible, sucky. Um, yeah, that it was okay. I was really proud of it in the moment because it's, it was better than my previous version. So slowly, slowly, slowly has my building skills gotten better and now I'm able to make an actually good like s subpar recreation of Outlaw Run and with some you know editing and terrain work and trees work <laughs> trees work landscaping I think that this will you know be the best Outlaw Run recreation on the workshop now there is a good one and that one's by GLW Games or Joe his is really good, especially like the scenery around his ride, and I'm pretty sure he hit the like the exact length of the track, almost exactly. Maybe he's a couple feet off, but mine is going to be more geared towards the smoothness of the ride and more emulating how the ride feels. So I want to try to get every little knickknack and turn, every little single angle and every little you know just even fence alongside the ride to where this is like the best recreation i'm not trying to one up him i just want to have my own outlaw run recreation because i feel and i've never worked at the ride and i, I kind of want to but I've, i feel like this is my like baby like this what this was my this was one of the big coasters that made me like roller coasters and so like this is this feels like my baby and i i really I really want to get this recreation like absolutely perfect. If you are looking for more recreations, however, you can go check out my time traveler recreation, which actually has some good progress done. And I post, I've been working on that recently, and and also I've been live streaming that too. So if you are bored one day and you're like, what should I do? Well, I might happen to be live streaming time traveler recreation, and it's a really good recreation so far 
and I'm really excited to see where that one goes to. So I'll have a time travel recreation and an outlaw run recreation, which is gonna be insane, and I love my time travel recreation, especially the Q, it's turning out so good. And unlike Outlaw Run, there really isn't any on the workshop. So, it, this is, will be the first one, and I'm excited to see how that turns out. I also will be live streaming Outlaw Run, sometimes not as much as Time Traveler, but I will be doing that. So, again, if you're bored and you want to watch stuff, just maybe check to see if I'm live, because I have post really cool videos, and those really cool videos come from my live streams. So definitely check that out I'm hoping to get a couple more videos out here on outlaw run shortly because I'm just doing a lot of work on it right now and this was like half the work I did on one recording session I thought man that's a 12 minute video is like yeah that's long enough for a time lapse so especially since this is at a thousand times the speed isn't that crazy so yeah I'm loving the progress and I'm just loving where this recreation is going to be going in the future. I will shut up now. <laughs> Leave you alone. If y'all have any like questions and concerns or just general comments, don't be afraid to comment below. I always love the feedback. Always love everything, negative or positive. I will take it. And yeah, I love feedback. So if you have any feedback, just comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe the video. Be subscribe the video. Wow. Yeah, subscribe the video, everybody. <laughs> subscribe to my channel and like the video. It really helps out a lot, and it shows me that y'all are liking my content. If not, then don't like and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> Have a great day. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I will see y'all next time. Bye.